Ben Burns here. Answer questions y'all have for him. Brian, can you hear us on your end? Ah. Uh. Perfect. All right, let's go to Scott Fowler to start, followed by Steve Reed. Brian, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Talk about the symbolic performance there in terms of a shutout. First one for the Panthers in five years. Hey, it was great. Um, like through the, throughout the week, we were preaching details. We were preaching execution. Everybody doing their, their job at an elite level. And um, our preparation really showed um, today. And um, man, we just had a lot of fun out there, to be honest. What was your favorite sack of those three that you were a part of? Uh, I would have to say the one when I was tired as hell. <laughs> they forgot to block me <laughs> and it was a freebie because I usually don't get freebies. So that was, that was new to me. <laughs> Ryan, what was, what was the difference today? Um, you guys had given up 32 points a game, I guess, over the last four weeks. What was the difference today? Yeah, like I said, bro, we put a lot of emphasis on um, details and that was our main, that was one of our main problems. And um, we really solved that today and we showed it, but um to be honest, man, everyone was just playing, playing, just having fun. Like you play your best ball, you having fun when you beating up on somebody else. As we you play your best ball, you're not worried about everything. There's anything that goes wrong because you're just having fun. It's just getting back to the game, and um, we really, we really had a good, a good time out there today. Right, let's go to Darren Gant, followed by Jonathan Alexander. Brian, Phil Snow said last week he had told you you were close to a three sack game. Uh, you a little disappointed you couldn't make that one come true for him? No. Um, Man, I, I accept anything God throws my way. And if he intended for me to get two, that's what it was. Um, he's saving my big game for a special time. It's, I'm waiting on it. It's all right. But, um, man, I just want to tip my hat off to the coaches, man. They had a great game plan. And um, they really utilized everybody on defense the proper way. And we really went out there and, and made those calls right. Brian, hope you're doing well, man. I'm wondering how much did the, last, the way you all played last week really kind of fuel the way you all came in to today's game? Uh, it opened our eyes. Um, yeah, like last week, we went in halftime 17-7 and came back out and stunk up the field. So um, it opened our eyes to to the small things that we had to pay attention to. And um, that, that translated to having a great game this game. Let's go to Nick Carboni and then Joe Person. Brian, it, it seemed like you guys were maybe more aggressive on defense today, or maybe that was just a product of you guys being up. Um, was that something that you guys wanted to, to really come in and do this week? And, and how fun is it, as, especially the struggles you guys have had, to be able to pin your ears back that way uh, in a win? Um, it was great. I mean, we kind of forced the, the, um, the, the Lions to, to throw the ball uh, by stopping the run so early in the game. Like um, we, really, we really keyed in on the run in the first half. And in the second half, it was pretty much pin your ears back, let's go get them. So, um, I mean, that's that's pretty much how I went. Brian, you guys didn't really learn, I guess, until before the game that Teddy wasn't going to go. Did you? Did that put a certain responsibility on the defense to play, you know, that much better, knowing PJ was going to go out and kind of be making his first NFL start? Oh uh, yeah, I, I would say so. Um, I felt like we the game plan was the game plan. We we're going to have a great game regardless. But I felt like um, knowing that that this was PJ's first start, that we we needed to give him a little momentum, a little push uh, to make the game easier for him. And um, I felt like we did that today. And he did a great job of taking care of the ball, making his throws, and um, they did a good job at body blows on on that defense today. All right, guys, you got time for one more? So let's go to Steve Reed before we wrap it up. Hey, Brian, coach talked about using you a little bit more different situations, defensive end and linebacker. I wonder if you could kind of talk about how you were used a little differently maybe today, if so. Um, yeah. Um, so basically, like I said, the game plan was great. Um, they had no idea where we were coming from. They didn't know if I was dropping, covering the slot, covering the back, or if I was rushing off the edge, going to the B gap. Uh, we were sending guys from all over the place and they messed up their protection a lot. Cause like I said, I usually don't get freebies and um, they decided not to block me. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, so me standing off the ball and me moving around and uh, put me in different areas along with Chin and, and everybody else, like that's, 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 that was just great disguises and great execution by the blitzes. All right, Brian, we appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate y'all.